Um, I I must confess that um, you guys have just done. Oh, I think. Uh, sorry, let me get this off. Um, did that feel long to anyone? Because no, I I we did twenty five minutes by mistake. Uh, because I had it set to my 30 minute thing and I was wondering this feels like a long 20 minutes so anyway um, comments questions uh, Robert I have just a practical question is that from time to time I find myself when I and I don't know what it is but when I feel like I'm uh, Getting into it, I find myself my breathing slows right down, and I, even to the point that I find like I stop breathing, and then I, and then I catch myself stop breathing. It's not a big deal. I don't, it's not like I'm out of air, but I'm aware of it, and I then I just you know take a deep breath. Is, is that something that you guys have experienced? My, my understanding of meditation is deep breathing, but I find when I'm more focused, I'm actually breathing more shallow and yes. more shutting down. No, that's exactly what Thomas Keating says, and I've heard at these retreats, is the more you get connected, the shallower your breathing is, and it's almost like you don't want to breathe. Um, yeah, okay. And, and so, uh, th there's often, I remember in the group sessions, often happens to me, not every session, like it didn't happen today, but like suddenly I go, Phew. not quite as dramatic as that, but there's like a bigger gasp of air just to catch up. So. Yeah. I have found when I've experienced that several times, it's almost like you don't need to breathe. You're just so with the Lord, you know, but you do breathe, but you're you're not even aware of it. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um on the contrary actually to uh, well not on the contrary but uh, what I did want to say is when you've got a lot of thoughts going on um, one good thing to do is don't quickly try to get back to your sacred word and, and just like as if it didn't happen um, a good approach is to like slow down a bit and and just you know almost do do it gently and deliberately to get back to God say your sacred word if you know what I mean um, to, that that might resonate with some of you it's almost like you do it with deliberate like deliberately and with intention the intention such a key to this you know because sometimes I find I'm, it's almost like I'm still in the boat of a thought, but then I realize I am, and I like quickly and glibly say my sacred word, but I'm actually still in that boat, if you know what I mean. It's almost like if you go like this and then say your sacred word, come back to God, then you're getting out of the boat. Don comments, okay. questions? This man's a maestro at this, so he's going to share next week, um, I think, if you're okay with it. Oh, sure. Great. I um, love this. I, lo I, I appreciate you all meeting with us. I really enjoy being with Rob and the, the insights. And just to tell, you know, jump on what Rob was saying, what I, what I do is, if I'm back in that boat, I just, I just visualize gently slipping off the side and just in a slow free fall, mm. sinking back down to the bottom. I see that happening. And then I'm just letting go. That's beautiful. So what other parting thoughts would you have for us as, as we kind of end today, Don? I just want to en encourage all of us. I mean, we're, we're pursuing the very heart of God. And, and God is pleased. And God wants this with us more than we actually want it with Him. And uh, 
as you just pursue. Don't be frustrated. Don't be discouraged. You might have some days where you feel like you've actually gone back a little bit because the thoughts are so tumultuous in your mind. Don't be discouraged by any of that. The heart is what God is after, and that's what you're after. And you're getting there. You're absolutely getting there. Any last comments, questions? The South Africans amongst us, I, I can tell, are needing to get off to a rugby game. If, if you've got a subscription up there, Alan. Um, no? <laughs> All right. Any, hey, Bob, what about any, any comment from you? Um, you uh, you've been doing this for some time as well. I, I consider you a bit of a master. You've come to some of these silent retreats. You make me second guess what I'm about to say because, uh, you know, I have been practicing this for a while, probably not as disciplined as what I would hope to have been, and, and this seems a little bit naive on my part. You know, I'm 47 years old, and um, quieting my mind really has not, a, was never a concept, wasn't something I, I attempted to do to try to get quiet. If I was going to seek time with God, it was, it was very mind intense, and so, um, you know, I've done this for a while, I'm still finding that balancing act of quieting the mind and not going 100% quiet and being able to let some thoughts come and then deal with them a little bit. So that's been quite challenging for me. Um, I'm also someone that, that falls asleep very quickly, so 10 seconds that I can be asleep, so trying to find that balance act because when I am conscious, my mind is very active and the ability to slow it down but it's just amazing, like what Don said. You know, you know your heart's in the right place, and uh, just have really enjoyed it. So I, I just want to say, I Bob's our chief operating officer here in the company, and one of the sad things is that I don't get to hang with him all the time because he's based in Indiana. But um, I mean, I I'll just say, Bob, there's been a change in you. Uh, there's been a greater peace. Um, there's, there's been a significant increase in wisdom, and I'm talking in the business, business space. Um, and, and I would say like an intuitive wisdom. It's, I mean, you've always been quite intuitive, but now more than ever, you say stuff, and, and I can hear that you're saying something deeper, and, and it's very accurate, and it speaks to my heart. It speaks to the heart of situations in business. Uh, so... Uh, there, there's a greater spirituality. I, I, you know, there's quite a lot I see. So just to encourage you, and I think what a year now you've been doing this, right? Yeah, yeah, it's probably that long. And I, I certainly don't want to sound like I'm, I'm maybe I'm just I just realize it's going to be a, a journey for me, and it, it's a journey for each one individually. And it's just great that I've been able to you know participate in, especially in these sessions and. And just keep it in perspective and gain a, a little bit different perspective on it so awesome man okay so folks thank you so much have a wonderful rest of your weekend